How did the Portland Metro real estate market weather all of the snow and ice that we got this last week? Well, let's take a look at all the latest stats and trends. So with all of the snow and ice closures and the power outages that we experienced in Portland this last week, a lot of the numbers are down when they should be up and others more or less stuck to the trends that we've been following. One of the enduring trends was the average sale price. It landed at about $582,000, which is about where we were the previous week. However, the average sale price was up by 7.7% .7 from roughly the same time period last year. Our supply of homes available for buyers to purchase decreased by 1%, which puts us about 15% higher than where we were last year at this time, meaning that there are more homes for buyers to choose from this year. The number of homes that hit the for sale market for the first time, plus the number of price reductions were both way down, but probably not a surprise given all the snow and ice and power outages of this last week. I can't imagine that a lot of sellers were hurrying to get their homes on the market in the middle of all that chaos. <laughs> it also looks like the ice storm shutdown suppressed the number of purchase agreements signed by both buyers and sellers this past week. Again, not a surprise. That number came in at 307, which is way down from the 500 we saw the previous week, but still more than I was expecting to see. The number of bank owned and pre-foreclosure properties on the market has remained relatively low and pretty much the same for several months now. In addition to that, the number of notices of default, which is that first step in the foreclosure process, those notices have remained relatively low indicating that there's still no avalanche of foreclosures waiting for us around the corner. Interest rates remain relatively unchanged from the previous week. The best rate out there that I could see for the 30 year fixed mortgage was still holding at around 6.375%. The yield on the 10 year treasury, which is one of our best indicators of where mortgage rates are headed, continues to inch up. Based on this upward movement, I was expecting to see the best case scenario for the 30 year fixed at 6.5% by now, with most lenders probably somewhere around 7%. Those rates, though, may just be around the corner. <laughs> well, that's all the excitement I have for you this week. I am looking forward to some more back on trend numbers this next week as we move further away from the storm. So be sure to check back in with me next Friday for the latest in Portland real estate stats and trends. And to make sure that you don't miss an update, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give me a like if you found this content informative. Have a great weekend and I will see you right here next week.